after the court handed him a three-month suspended sentence. Let's move on. The National Assembly Public Investments Committee has invited the chairman of Kenya Airports Authority and its board of management to shed more light on the Kenya Airways bid to take over management of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport from the authority. Now, KAA Chief Executive Officer Johnny Anderson told Parliament that the authority was studying KQ proposal to take over operations at the airport. Nandi Hills MP Alfred Keter warns the Kenya Airports Authority Chairperson Isaac Awondo, who also doubles up as the CEO and the Managing Director of NIC and CBA banks that loaned KQ 5 billion Kenya shillings to explain the conflict of interest in the Kenya um, the KQ takeover of JKIA, which members have described as suspect. All right, let's link up with our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, just to bring us up to speed with the intrigue surrounding this particular takeover bid. Patrick Amimo, good afternoon. Give us the details into the Parliamentary Investment Committee grilling of the chairperson of the Kenya Airports Authority. Good afternoon, Jesse. This is a matter that the National Assembly's Public Investments Committee is seized of after reports came that uh, Kenya Airways was planning to take over the running of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Uh, members are concerned that Kenya Airways is a loss-making uh, entity and they are concerned at how uh, this particular entity can run over operations at the airport. Uh, the, and when the uh, uh, Chief Executive Officer of Kenya Air Airports Authority appeared before the committee uh, this, uh, this, uh, this morning, he said that Kenya makes an annual profit of 9 billion shillings. So members are wondering whether, like last year, Kenya Airways was supposed to be, uh, was bailed out by the government with, with at least 4 billion shillings. How can these uh, uh, take over, I um, uh, mean, uh, uh, or, uh, how can this uh, happen? And it, maybe it would have been the other way around. And now joining me uh, is uh, the chairperson of uh, the PPIC, Abdul Somad Nasir, just to share, uh, to tell us, uh, looking at it, this was a cabinet decision. Uh, the the, man the KA management uh, 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 said that uh, this was a cabinet decision arrived at May last year. Then in October, we saw KQ right uh, to Kenya Airports Authority seeking the takeover. Uh, the first question that we asked is uh, how Kenya Airways was um, was private to that information, cabinet uh, documents, or secret documents. How did Kenya Airways seize that document and how did they end up writing that proposal? It should have been vice versa. Um, Kenya Airport Authority should have seen the opportunity and seized it. That uh, yes, we do need um, uh, to, to have um, more uh, airlines flying into Kenya. Uh, we need to increase uh, this uh, by a huge threshold so um, they, they, they should have seized this opportunity ah, but on, on the face value of it this whole thing should have been roles should have been reversed I'm seeing it as a um, uh, uh, Kenya Airport Authority should actually be the one taking over Kenya Airways not vice versa you can have an entity that just JKIA alone is uh, giving them about seven to eight billion shillings in profits annually just check here alone and then you're asking that that now be let go to an institution that is, as you rightfully said, we build it out by 4 billion shillings. Now we are even taking it further. We've written to the investment secretary and we're hoping to get responses soon. Um, and we want to know uh, the amount of money that we're giving you. Are we liquidating our, the, the, the shares that KLM owns? Does it mean that our shareholding is high? At 48 percent, the last time we know it, we had 48, and uh, the other uh, KLM is at 23. Uh, uh, you know, we, we still don't have controlling interest per se in this in this airline. The rest, of course, is owned by private indiv in individuals. So uh, there's there's too much. There's too much at stake. When we put in money, what are others putting in? Is there a debt that the, the airline KLM has to pay? Uh, the national coffers that, that we're not aware of and, and so many other things. Looking at it, uh, Kenya Airports Authority is, an, is, a, is established by the Act of Parliament. Yet, uh, KQ is a, is a, is, is a private like a private entity. Your concerns there? It's, it's actually not like. It is a private entity. It's a, it's a state investment. A state investment is where the government has an interest, a financial interest uh, that uh, is below 50 plus 1 percent, which is like Kenya Airways and uh, the likes of Mumia Sugar and, 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 and others. Uh, whereby with Kenya Airports Authority it's 100% on. By the way, there is actually an, an, an act of parliament that a uh, private institution cannot be able to run an airport. But, you know, there's, there's security 
uh, uh, elements, there's a risk element. Uh, you start it off with, uh, with Kenya Airways, the natural laws of justice is that another airline will tell you that we want to take over uh, more international airport in Mombasa. Another airport will, another uh, institution will come and tell you, can we take over uh, Manda Air, uh, uh, airstrip in, in Lamu? What is there to stop you? And you've already started a precedence. So ours is to look at the financial uh, uh, impact on this and on face value, on face value, this seems like a terrible deal. Thank you so much, Mishmiwa, uh, for, for, that, uh, for that insight. That is the Public Investment uh, Committee chairperson just trying to share with us his committee's concerns with regard to uh, K Kenya Airways' uh, plan to take over the running of uh, our international airport, uh, Jomo Kenyatta. Back to the studio, Jesse. All right, many thanks. That's our senior parliamentary reporter, Patrick Amimo, just having a short chit-chat with Abdul Suamad Nasir, who is Mvita Member of Parliament, but also doubles up as the chairperson of the Public Investments Committee in 